Chicky. So I want to just kind of talk about some things that have been weighing on my mind. Um, let me ask you guys, do y'all remember, put a one in chat. There's 140 people here. Uh, is Moon, Moon, are you still in chat? Now, I know Angela's going to remember this. I know a lot of you guys are going to remember this. But specifically, I know for a solid fact that Moon and Angela will remember this. So I'm going to ask a lot of you probably, because most of you have been with me for a year or more. Mrs. E, you may not remember this because I don't think you guys were around. But um, remember last Christmas, I, my channel, my channel for the month of December was demonetized. YouTube went on this like huge demonetization spree, like every month for like six months consecutively. YouTube was demonetizing channels. My channel, unfortunately, was demonetized in the month of December. Put a one in chat if you remember me being demonetized and the hell people gave me okay but i i had no check i did not get a check in the month of december i have children that are small and very underage right so i made a fundraiser i had a fundraiser people ripped me a new one for that fundraiser people ripped me a new one somebody hacked into my email account I still would like to know who hacked into my email account. Somebody hacked into my email account and they found a video. I mean, not a video, I'm sorry, an email from YouTube uh, support. Uh, and it was a person that I talked to that told me that I would still get my check for the month of um, December. I knew that person was wrong because my second channel was demonetized back in November and I didn't get paid for that. So I spoke with another uh, representative and they told me that the representative that told me I was going to get paid was mistaken. Long story short, I didn't get paid for that month. But that didn't stop all these creators from going live and ripping me a new one to, and, and lying to the subscribers like Queen B, GW, these people, they went live and told their subscribers that I got paid and that I lied to my subscribers um, about getting money, which was a big lie. Never was true. Anyway, I say all that to say, this year, <laughs> oh my Lord, this year, B. Tim, in all his glory, and the others said that there was going to be this Griffmas, that all these creators were going were gonna to start, you know, having fundraisers for Christmas, and they're going to start grifting to get money for Christmas, and you got, sometimes you just got to love instant, uh, you know, karma, because the very second that they started accusing all of us, of a you know grift in for christmas they are the ones that have the fundraisers and now they have not only do they have fundraisers for their legal fees but they also have wish lists to fill all their kids christmas so the very person that ripped my ass a new one last year now has everybody covering her legal fees and buying all of her children's christmas isn't that isn't that just peachy the hypocrisy in this community makes me sick makes me sick man it just blows all uh oh my god good morning bonnie journeys yeah griffmas is coming luna <laughs> jesus i'm just saying i'm just saying it it chaps my ass that these people go on and on and on. now what do you think would be said if i fired up a wish list right now just curious what do you think would happen if i if i dropped a wish list in my chat I know one Petty Betty would go live today and talk about it. I know two Petty Bettys that would go live and talk about it. Just absolutely freaking. Hold on, guys. Wait a minute. Well, no, there's a new. Holly, this is a, a brand spanking new Christmas fun. I mean, Christmas wish list. This one was just started. Oh, but guess what? That person put my whole wish list, my old wish list that I don't even use. She went all through it. But then you're going to have a wish list now. Huh. Pot, meat, kettle. Kettle, meat, pot, you hypocrite, hypocrite ass. One, I don't know. Bruh, I can't go. Are you serious right now? I ain't never in my life. I will not go with this truck behind me the whole way. Hold on, guys. I'm going to have to pull over because I, I will. I, there's no way I can drive. Okay, thank God. He seriously blew the horn at me and there's no, 
there's there's like cars coming in the roundabout. There was no way that I could go. I can't stand uh, road rage drivers. Impatience. She must have taken it down. Did she, Angela? Oh, that's just laughable. That right there. Wasn't it on the members only, Angela, to begin with or what? Truth be told, it probably got filled up. She manipulates her freaking subscribers so badly. It's sad. It's so sad. If you lived with your, okay, let me guys, let me ask you guys a question. Like, in all seriousness, I have a question. Exactly, Brandy. So let me ask you guys a question. If a person came on YouTube and they told you that they were a single mother that had children to take care of, what would you automatically assume? If a person says they're a single mother who has children to take care of and they need help, what would you automatically assume? Would you not assume that that person has children and, they're, and they, they live in a home by themselves and they're taking care of their children alone? Would you not assume that? What if that person lived with their parents and they're sitting there telling their subscribers that they have their single parent raising children? What if that person lived with their parents? Then what would you say? But, but they come on here and just, they say that they're a single parent raising kids. Does that not give the impression that they are doing everything by themselves? Bonnie's journeys, I don't know about QB. I didn't, I haven't seen QB do anything like that as far as, a, I haven't seen QB ask for Christmas money, no. But would, would you not say that that is manipulation? Would you not say that you're, that's being manipulative? I'm just curious. I do too, Ollie. Can I start grifting for to, to fix my house? <laughs> Many. <laughs> the Andy Rose. Oh my God. I said it. Andy. I did. Andy Rose, I said it. I was like, oh, they're going to milk this shit for everything it's worth. They're going to milk it for everything it's worth. But what makes it so rich and what aggravates me to no end, honestly, is the fact that what really aggravates me is the way that they come at me and they go at other people. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my God, when I have ever asked for help in the past at all, even till now, I have not had a fundraiser in over a year. Christmas is a year. OK. And to this day, they will not let me forget about that fundraiser. Honestly, ask for anything you want. It's really up to your integrity. Her supporters asked her to start one. It's a creator's supporters want to help. Crimeology, I don't care. My problem is that if I was to start a fundraiser today, or if I was to start a, a wish list, they would rip my ass a new one. That's the problem. They're hypocrites. So I'm going to go ahead and say it now. And I'm sick of that, too. Every time somebody ever tries to say something about people, especially them, there's always people that's like, don't worry about it. Worry about yourself. But, but if I or anybody else tries to do something like that, they fucking lose their minds. If you start a wish list, can you add an Apple? <laughs> Apple watch for me. Hey, Max, you have to ask GW. She's the one that's got one. 